In this video I'm going to be discussing some cylinder stud nut torque tips. This is my KTM 2017 250XC and a couple of years ago I made a top end overhaul video which has proved to be very popular. I've received quite a few uh, comments regarding how I torqued the uh, front cylinder stud nuts. So these ones, there's one here, there's one on the other side behind the power valve cover. And at that time I didn't have a uh, torque wrench that could fit on these nuts, so I hand torqued them. Um, so I, I thought I'd make this update video um, and share some uh, methods that you can use to torque all of the cylinder stud nuts um, reliably. So before talking down the cylinder stud nuts, um, it's always a good idea to look in the service manual and see what uh, information it provides. So this is a copy of the service manual for my 2017 KTM 250XC. And uh, you can see here that uh, it mentions that you should tighten uh, the cylinder base stud nuts in a crisscross pattern and they should be torqued to 35 Newton meters. It's a very good idea to look at the service manual for your particular model uh, because depending on the model it might give different advice and recommendations. I know many uh, four strokes uh, which use a, a higher torque setting, um, it will uh, state that you need to torque the, uh, the nuts in stages uh, going up in torque and it also might state that you need to all the threads. So definitely check the service manual before proceeding. Okay, so what's it mean to tighten in the crisscross pattern? Uh, in this illustration, I'm showing a four stud crisscross tightening order. And uh, before you start, you need to uh, select which stud you're going to start with. Um, so it doesn't really matter which one you do start with, just as long as you remember uh, which one it is. And uh, as a first step, I always like to hand tighten uh, the studs. And uh, just to make sure the cylinder is seated um, up against the uh, gasket and uh, then you're ready to start the final talk or you're talking in stages. Okay so after snugging down all of the uh, stud nuts by hand uh, you're ready to start talking them. Um, so starting with uh, number one stud, uh, talk that to your spec. So in my case only one talk is stated, I don't have to do it in the stages so I talk it to 35 Newton meters. And then uh, the crisscross pattern uh, states that I need to move to number two uh, opposite diagonally it. So I move over to uh, number two stud and torque that to spec. And then um, I have a choice of uh, either of the remaining corner studs. Um, so I'm going to do number three and I torque that to spec. And then finally I jump over diagonally to number four and torque that to spec. And uh, always, even if you're not doing it in stages, it's a good idea to go back to number one and do all the studs in order uh, to make sure they're taught correctly. If you're doing it in stages, uh, you repeat the order uh, from one through four uh, using your second stage and sometimes a third stage is uh, stated. Okay, so next I'm going to move on and discuss some specific tools you can use for talking the stud nuts and in particular the front stud nuts, uh, which are difficult to access because of the power valve mechanism above, you won't be able to use a, a standard uh, torque wrench and socket. The rear stud nuts are easy to access and you can use a standard uh, torque wrench. Uh, this is my Tonichi QL50 uh, which has a 3 8 drive and uh, you can use that with a, uh, a semi-deep socket. Uh, so you need a 13 millimeter socket and uh, access the stud nuts and torque them. But for the two front stud nuts, because the power valve control mechanism is in the way, you won't be able to use a standard uh, torque wrench with a socket. Uh, so what you can do uh, is what I showed in my uh, rebuild video, is to use a standard wrench. Uh, this is a 13 uh, millimeter wrench. Um, and select one which is a uh, similar uh, length to your torque wrench. And then I recommend uh, torquing one of the rear uh, stud nuts first. Uh, with your torque wrench, get a feel for um, the torque, so in this case it's 35 Newton meters, and then uh, do one of the, uh, the stud nuts opposite the first one you do uh, using your uh, 30 millimeter standard wrench. And because it's the same length, uh, you should be able to get a good feel for um, how much 35 Newton meters is. If you use a, a shorter wrench, for example, like this, uh, it'd be very difficult to uh, feel uh, the a similar torque. 
The next option is to go ahead and purchase a torque wrench extension. Uh, the one shown here is made by Signet. It, this is 13mm and this is uh, 3 8 to fit on the, to the torque wrench. And uh, you can use it in two different ways. Uh, so the first method is to just put it in line uh, with the torque wrench and use it in this manner. Uh, you should note that uh, because the uh, length from the center uh, to the end of the torque wrench is increased, if for example you set the torque wrench to the 35 newton meters, the torque applied um, at the nut is actually higher than 35 newton meters. Um, so you need to apply a scaling factor, uh, which I'll explain later. Um, if you don't want to do that, and uh, you can fit uh, the tool, um, there is a trick you can do, and it's to place the extension at 90 degrees to the body of the torque wrench. And if you do it this way, uh, the length doesn't increase, or is uh, very similar, and uh, you can just set the standard torque on the torque wrench and use it like that. So here I'm showing the torque wrench extension calculation uh, if you want to use the extension in line with the torque wrench handle. So TS is the value you're trying to find and uh, it's the torque setting uh, you set your torque wrench to. Uh, TA is the applied torque and in this case I want mine to be uh, 35 newton meters. And then LT is the equivalent length of the torque wrench and uh, this is typically specified in your torque wrench uh, manual. Uh, if you can't find it, uh, you can measure the distance from the center of the drive uh, to the handle line, uh, which you can see here. So in my case, it's 180 millimeters. And then uh, LX is the length of your extension. So it's from the center uh, of the ring uh, to the drive. And in this case, it's 50 millimeters or about two inches. So here I'm showing all of the numbers and uh, the calculated value for the torque wrench setting comes out to be 27.39 Newton meters. Um, so I, I would set my torque wrench to 27.5 Newton meters. So the last solution I'm going to show you is to purchase a uh, torque wrench which is specifically designed for this type of application. So this one's made by Tonichi and it has exchangeable heads. So I have a 13 millimeter head fitted. Um, and the length of the head is designed specifically for this torque wrench. So I don't need to apply any uh, scaling factors. So I can simply set uh, the torque on the torque wrench to uh, what value I want. So 35 Newton meters and use a tool as is. Uh, very easy to use, very accurate and nice to use. Uh, but of course you do have to purchase the tool. So I hope that's given you some ideas and hopefully you'll be uh, better prepared for when you come around to reinstalling the cylinder during your top end overhaul.